My name is Maddie Allen and I have been struggling with anorexia since 7th grade. I'm currently a senior at Great Oak High School and this is my story. From the very beginning of dealing with this disorder, um, things that kind of triggered me to think that I needed to be better for other people was um, dealing with bullies. I'd get comments, little things like, oh, why are you wearing that? That's definitely not <laughs> for somebody your size, or I would be called Fatty Maddie. So, the thing that made me want to be a different person or to sort of shut down this disorder was I was laying in a hospital bed and the doctor told me that my organs were going to start to shut down. I would only have a span of about three to six months to live if I continued to go down the path that I was on. I looked over at my mom and she started crying and I'll never forget the look on her face when they told her that her daughter was going to die and I promised myself right then and there that I wasn't going to let this defeat me and I was going to change. Things that helped me recover were knowing that I wasn't alone and finally talking to people about what was going on, finally opening myself up to um, the disease and finally letting people know that I wasn't okay and I took on a more positive attitude, a more optimistic attitude and I just told myself to keep pushing forward. To anyone that is struggling out there with anorexia or bulimia or any of those sort of things, um, I just want to let you know that everything is going to be okay. Um, if you just keep pushing forward and keep telling yourself that you're beautiful and I know it's hard, trust me, I've definitely been there, but if you see something that's beautiful, whether it be inside or outside, um, really focus on that, really focus on the positive. And you're not alone. There's me and hundreds of other girls, thousands, millions of other girls and boys who are struggling through the same thing. And together, we're going to push through it. <laughs>